it's time once again for your favorite pro wrestling opinion show, Jags Jabs. Now, I am Jefferson Alonzo Green, and today I've got to talk to you, the fans. Let me make one thing clear. I've heard over and over again from various people in and around the professional wrestling business that it is not a good idea to talk trash to the, the companies and the talent that are on television and all around the world right now because it looks bad. It makes you, or in this case, it makes me look bad if I'm talking trash on AEW. It makes me look bad if I'm talking trash on WWE or anyone, name, name someone, the Young Bucks, whatever. It looks bad if I'm talking trash about those people is what I've been told. And you know what I have to say to that? I don't care. And I'm going to tell you why I don't care. Because I, the Jag, have a bone to pick, not with the WWE, well, maybe a little bit, but not necessarily with AEW, even though, yeah, I got a bone to pick with those guys too. But I'm focusing on, I'm jabbing at you, the fans, because the fans are driving me crazy. Let me tell you what the fans are driving me crazy about right the hell now. Becky Lynch. Yes, Becky Lynch came back at SummerSlam. I know because the Jag was there. I was in attendance at the Allegiant Stadium watching the show and I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming so much, people, that I recorded over two minutes and 40 some seconds waiting for the downbeat of Becky Lynch's music. waiting for her to make her entrance because it is so overdue and it is so predictable. The WWE as a whole is very predictable. But here's the deal. We knew Sasha wasn't wrestling. Bianca comes out, they bring out Carmella. Of course, Becky Lynch is coming and here she comes. So far, so freaking good, right? Right? Here's where it goes sideways. Becky Lynch beats Bianca Belair, the most athletic, the strongest, fastest, quickest, whatever the hell you want to say, in the WWE. She's been champion for the last six months, whatever, with one freaking move? Come on, man. But here's where I have a problem with you. Here's where I have a problem with you, the fans. You cheered it. Yes. For some reason, God only knows, the fans went crazy. And this is really the point of this video today. I want you people right now on social media. Yes, you can follow me at AKA The Jag on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. But put it in the comments right now. Explain to me why in God's name you like Becky Lynch. Do you remember when she was the, the Irish last kicker and nobody cared if she lived or died? You say, oh, she's one of the four horsewomen. She's one of the greatest of all time. She's the man, which is stupid by the way, but she's the man. And I say, really? Really? Because I remember a chick that had goggles on her head and was dancing and trying to get over. I remember a chick that nobody gave a rat's ass about. You want to talk about the women's revolution? Let's talk about Sasha versus Bailey. You want to talk about one of the greatest of all time, lover or hater? You got to talk about Charlotte. Nobody ever put Becky Lynch in that conversation. When you thought about the people that were leading the women's revolution, you didn't talk about Becky Lynch. You never talked about Becky Lynch until one thing happened. You didn't talk about Becky Lynch until she got punched in the face. Yeah, damn it, I said it. The only reason why Becky Lynch is popular, the only reason why Becky Lynch is over, is the man, is because Nia Jax messed up. If it wasn't for Nia Jax potatoing that chick right in the face and her getting bloody on Raw or SmackDown, whatever the hell it was, then we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Nia Jax made Becky Lynch and she made her with a potato because now Becky Lynch has the illusion of toughness. Now Becky Lynch has the illusion of strength, of power, of, of wrestling prowess. She is not great in the ring. Name three amazing Becky Lynch matches. I'll wait. Now let me ask you this. Name three amazing Sasha Banks matches. That ain't gonna take you very damn long. Let's look at Hell in a Cell last year, Hell in a Cell this year, WrestleMania this year. Come on, people, it's easy. But you wanna talk about Becky Lynch? Becky Lynch? Do you guys really think she's tough? Do you guys really think she's a shooter? Do you think she's a good fighter? Like she kicks all kinds of butt? Her physique is average. Her look is average. Her promo is better than average, I'll give you that. But it's everybody else's shtick. To be the man, you gotta beat the man? Hmm, where have I heard that crap before? And then, when the man comes to town, who gives a behind, a rat's behind, when the man comes to town? The whole man thing is stupid, first of all, but secondly, let's just keep it real. If we're talking about amazing women's champions, 
if we're talking about women's champions that we can get behind, that we can believe in, that we really think are tough, that we really think are strong. Let's let's talk about Camille from the NWA. Bodybuilder, tall, strong. Let's talk about China. You guys are acting like Becky Lynch is China. You guys are acting like she's big and strong and she's the man and she can beat any woman. Like the squash that she put on Bianca Belair is something I would expect from Nia Jax or Tamina because those are the biggest, baddest chicks in the WWE. But if we look outside of the WWE, like I said, we got Camille, big, strong, football background. She could be an ass kicker. She could be tough. She could be strong. She could be amazing. We got, dude, take it to AEW, Jade Cargill. I bet you weren't expecting to hear me say that name today. Jade Cargill, strong, ripped, shredded, tall, big, beautiful. That's somebody I can believe could come out and squash somebody. But if we're talking about shooters, if we're talking about people who really can fight, man, let's talk about Thunder Rosa. And yes, she lost her MMA debut, but she got her ass in there and she fought her tail off. Thunder Rosa had a legit bloody nose from a real fight. She's, she's choked people out with actual jujitsu moves and matches, people. That's a shooter. That's somebody we can get behind. That's somebody we can believe. What does Becky Lynch have? The mind handle slam? The crappiest looking arm bar, whatever the hell she calls it? Crap. You know what? If you want an ass kicker, if you want a shooter, if you want a bad mofo in the WWE, look no further than Shayna Baszler. Yeah, I said it, Shayna Baszler. And no, you probably wouldn't put a poster of Shayna Baszler on your wall, and she doesn't care because she's probably not into you any damn way, but Shayna Baszler is the most legit wrestling, I don't know, shoot fighting wrestler in the game today. If you take away freaking Ronda Rousey, who is now pregnant, okay? Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, that's it. And they got Shayna Baszler sitting on the shelf talking about, when the man comes to town, man handles slam, and I beat, you know, Bianca Belair, one of the toughest, man, in a shoot fight, who wins? Becky Lynch or, or Bianca Belair? I'll wait. In a shoot fight, who wins? Becky Lynch or Shayna Baszler? Becky Lynch or Nia Jax? Becky Lynch, Tamina. Becky Lynch, Natalia. Becky Lynch well, versus any damn body, Asuka. Becky Lynch ain't tough. Becky Lynch is not tough. She's not strong. She's hype. And you clowns cheer for her. And so Vince keeps bringing her back. We deserve more from our women's division. We deserve more than Alexa Bliss and that stupid doll. We deserve more than Eva Marie's craptastic match at SummerSlam. We deserve more than the man beating a legit awesome champion in freaking 11 seconds. And it's your fault because you cheer for it. You buy the shirts and you, you, you act like a bunch of clowns when her music hits. Listen, people, you got to be vocal here. The only way that the WWE is going to change is if we make our feelings and our opinions known. And that's why I'm recording this crap right now after so many months away. Despite the advice that other people gave me, despite the advice that other wrestlers gave me, don't talk trash about the E. Don't you want to work there? No. I don't want the travel. I don't want the headache. And I don't want Vince to put me in a goofy ass costume like what Karrion Cross just wore the other day. Look, I don't want to work for the WWE. I will never work for AEW. Impact? Give me a call. MLW? Sure. Ring my phone, okay? Uh, anybody else? Yeah, I'm down. But this is not about me getting booked. This is about us as fans enjoying the show. We got robbed of an amazing SummerSlam women's match because you clowns cheer for the man. Do better, wrestling fans. We deserve better than just a catchphrase and a name. We deserve better than just a, a stupid shtick from a chick who couldn't fight her way out of a wet paper bag. That's gonna do it for Jags Jabs today. I'm a little angry today, people, I'm sorry. But that's gonna bring us home, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope that you click that subscribe button down below so you down below so you can follow along. Hit the little bell so you get a, a notification whenever the Jag decides to put out a new video. But I am coming back tomorrow because I have something else to say. I have something else to say about replica belts. So if you're interested in hearing what the Jag has to say about replica titles after going to SummerSlam, tune in tomorrow because I'll probably be just as animated and just as pissed as I am right now with the man squashing Bianca Belair, just like Brock squashed Kofi Kingston. But at least Brock's a shooter. At least he looks the part. Becky Lynch doesn't pass the eye test, people. She doesn't pass the shooter test. All she has is some mic skills and, and I don't know, preferential treatment. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit us up on social media at AKA The Jag. You can follow the show at Make Me a Fan 316, and I will see you next time. Yeah.